Welcome back. Anybody I'm still watching to age please anybody the other rail. <laughs> Time for the final battle. Dots. Dots. So this is Cryer's mind. <laughs> yes, it's uh, very nice. Kitaka. Yahari. Omae ga ichiban hayakata na. Krara. Krara's right next to me. She's smiling at me. How did your inner world end up looking like this? Koko wa kessen no tame ni tsui sakki atama no naka ni omoi egaita basho da. Oh darn. Sasuga no watashi mo omoi de no basho de ootachi maori o enjiru tsumori wa nai. I see your point. That makes sense. Ah, yet to mitsukatta. Right at the end of her sentence, the ground begins to tremble. What what's gonna look like? Is it just gonna look like Crowley's again? <laughs> then a man appears. If this is the command unit, it sure looks a lot different from its outside appearance. I guess this is a byproduct of absorbing Kralis's mind. It seems a lot easier to fight than its real world form in terms of size. Oh, fun. Well, let's have at it then. Yeah. Uh, should I, maybe? In that case, I can't afford to be done in here. We can't lose. I need a sword. I need a stronger, sharper sword than ever before. Ha! The sword appears. I'm going to slash the, the command unit with this. There's no way I can't cut it. I cer certainty fills my heart, and that certainty gives me strength. Since this sword is an ethereal manifestation, its strength depends on my state of mind. That's not creepy at all. That's not creepy at all. そもそも滅びを促す貴様は誰だ。カラレスの慣れの果てか。それとも知霊体の本当の意志か。言葉遊びに応じるつもりなどはない。私は私であり、唯一のものだ。お前たちを滅ぼし。他の古崎者どもを
Any anything like that? Uh, maybe I should just go with increasing your defense. It says reduction all, rating your maximum HP. Mm, the best time to be finishing this. Okay, you know what? I'll increase her. Wait, what's this? Oh. Oh, wait. All abilities? Yeah, sure. Let's max this. Why not? Oh, that's gonna use the rest of the points. That's probably why not to do that. Uh, got anything else that's all things? E. Crara. So. Maybe I should go with raising. Logic attack. Okay. <clears throat> and sure. I'll raise his spirit attack. So he deals even more damage. And then it's I. Uh, she attacks with logic. So. Oh man, I'll work on this one. More likely to get a, another disruptor, anyways. Uh, okay, now that I've done that, uh, can I? Am I able to save? Oh, I am able to save right now. Okay, save. Right here. It's a beautiful thing right there. Uh. It's just that I got. No. Okay. Okay. You know what? No, we're doing this right now. Okay, here we go. Not a battle. Not a battle. Yeah, don't do it. I don't hold back. Level twenty nine. <gasps> I was lied to. I was told that the final boss was level twenty eight, but he's level twenty nine. Well, uh, oh, it's so basically just finding a one level higher uh, Crawlis than. Ah, but now I'm not as quite. Overpowered. Okay, so I'll go with having uh, the same stuff. Okay, I am in front. Akashima Caliber. Chain Stasis. Hydro Blaster. Heart Beat Green. Okay. Ooh, he does not take as much damage. But we don't take as much. We're still not taking much damage either, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, action caliber. Chain stasis. I'm gonna go with that. And she doesn't know. So, oh, that used 34? That used 25 for some reason. I guess that was one of the old ones. And I'll go with medical alone. Might as well. Can you blast? Can you anti blast and anti blast? Is that what just happened? Oh, darn, I guess you can. Well then. <laughs> That's the thing. Also, she just... This is heal for 900, but she just got healed by, like, 1301. Oh, well. Uh, okay. I... You're going up front. Yes. And... Devastator. With... Chain stasis. Okay, so it's not gonna be the final thing, but if- oh, jeez. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. Okay, 
So it's not gonna be the final. Also, switching people around like this is probably a bad idea. But anyways, it's not going to be the final move, but I do want you people to see that, because it's amazing. So if possible. Oh, I lost her. Oh, nope. Okay then. She's gonna need some healing. She's probably get on that. だが今は真実を知り大切なものを得たあ、夢と共に私は戦うそこかそこだ、メイジングスティングスああ、カララカララ <laughs> Darn, now I really want that to be the final <laughs> slow again. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, they just heal. Anyway, fast forwarding again. Okay, guess gotta switch to Yayamu. Uh, yes. Have him... Waking over? Mm. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna go with Akshima Volcano. <clears throat> and. Hydro Blaster. Sure. Let's be fine. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, so is Aimu. Holy jeez. <laughs> oh, this is, this is getting bad. And he doesn't even have enough for... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I. your time to shine again. It's actually getting kind of... Kind of close. Okay, uh, Devastator. Wait. <sighs> Don't have enough. Or should I just not use one of the really... Should I not use one of the two AP ones? No, I don't want to use that on... Oh wait, Aimu. Use... Oh, this is not gonna restore... Yeah, this is not gonna restore 200. Never, never, don't... Never mind. Never mind about that. I made a horrible snake mistake there. Uh, okay. If I'm lucky, she'll be able to heal. If not, then... Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? got kind of close. I should probably bring better supplies with me next time, just in case. <laughs> Already planning for the next final battle, wow. Yeah, give me that level up. Level 32. Since apparently in hard mode everything's upped 30 levels, I should be fine. Because apparently you're going to destroy the universe? <laughs> Can 
Mania crumbles to the ground. We watch it disintegrate. Did we beat it? Yeah, we should probably get out of here before she does certain yeah, stuff. Kurara! Her face is pale. I really don't think this is just a matter of a little dizziness. I knew it. You pushed yourself to the limit. Wait, you had a pre- Heavier. Heavier. That thing was huge, Karara. Of course it's gonna be heavy. She stands up, although her legs are shaking. I support her from behind. Uh, what about I? Okay. I looks into Kara's eyes, then nods. This better have a good ending. <laughs> right? Kara holds her hands over my and y Yumina's head, and uh, as she instructed, I focus on returning to the real world. I'll make Kara's wish come true. I will. Like Kara said, the community unit has become a much easier opponent. But that only makes a difference if they can fight freely. It's not a part of Zeta's machine that remains undamaged. It's about to fall apart, but his will is unbroken. He holds his ground at the ship's bow. The same is true for the other frames protecting the Zellarm. Though there are many warships on the battlefield, only the Zellarm endures constant and severe attacks from the extra dimensionals. キララの言ってたことを半分くらいは正しかったってことだろう。キララが強制的に迎えたのは多分あいつの理性みたいなものと一緒の部分なんだと思うぜ。それで本能的にキララや歩夢たちの体があるここを狙ってるのさ。Zeta and his crew are fighting well, but the odds are overwhelming. While the command unit is targeting the Zellarm, Deal's unit persist persistently attacks it. It has sustained minor wounds now, but its carapace remains unbroken. <clears throat> During that time, it's the Zellarm that's taking the most punishment. Zeta aims at an onrushing extra-dimensional and pulls the trigger, but the gun doesn't fire. Energy! 
Just the laser gun away and switches to his blade. <clears throat> he brings out his blade on the extra dimensional, slicing it neatly in half. This machine reels under the impact. Zeta grits his teeth and endures. That's what Uo sounds like? Huh. The extra dimensionals just keep coming and coming, but Zeta remains where he is, armed only with its blade. Nobody replies to Fowl's plea. The crew of the Zalm are now literally fighting for their lives. やくそく。下だろ。歩むや。キララたちが戻るまで。俺たちでここを守るってな。忘れるなよ。本当のあいつらは兵士でも軍人でもない。でも俺たちが不甲斐ないから。こんな場所に駆り出されてきたんだ。
Wow, that sure was a straight answer. So, I never even considered that, but she's right, actually. Yumiko giggles. Maybe my astonishment was written on my face. As much as I can, sure. それから、キララを大事にしてあげて。あの子は私にとって一番大切な友達だから。泣き虫で寂しがり屋で甘えん坊。だからどうか優しくしてあげて。Well, now that's something I can promise quite definitely. ありがとう。あなたと話せて。the voice is growing distant. My consciousness is blurring. I drift away gently. I get the feeling that... I get the feeling that Yumika was also absorbed by the uh, command thing. I think that's what happened. Eh. I'm suddenly jolted back to consciousness by shouting voices. This is real, right? Hey. I check my monitor to see what's going on out there, then I freeze. It's difficult to grasp at first glance. His frame is missing an arm and a leg, looking pretty mangled. And yet he is still moving, even though his radiant frame is halfway destroyed. Sita. <laughs> Sita is surrounded by dozens of rectexture dimensionals. Yet another extra dimensional charges at him. He tries to fend it off with the remains of his broken blade, but the arm is taking too much punishment and breaks off. Sita! I cross the gap in an instant and take down the extra dimensional with a swing of my blade. Thanks, Zita. I'll be fine from here. You head back inside. Zita is tumbling through space on inertia alone. His machine isn't moving on its own anymore. Then I'll come to his aid and tow him to the ship. Oh, what? There's a sudden impact. I look around and see a flock of X-Dimensionals bearing down on me. See, it'll only be in more danger if I get closer to him at this rate. A moment later, Zeta's frame sparks and a section of it separates from the main body. I'll be right there. His voice is cracking up, but he continues to give me advice like he always does. Even though he has other things to worry about. The statement is devoid of any sort of decoration. Fal is dumbfounded.
全部あそんなそんなの実はなファルア俺のコックピット半分潰れてやがるんだその意味はわかるよなカーゴーズウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィ She looks calm, satisfied even. But there is no movement anymore. Our time together has been short, but even so, Zita was my friend, my comrade, my brother. Zita. Ah! Zita. There's no answer. There's only silence. Battle cry. And engage my boosters at maximum strength and head for the command unit. The extra dimensions follow me, maybe because I've destroyed so many of them already. But I ignore them. The command unit needs to be destroyed. Out of my way! My power is fueled by anger. I rip the extra dimensions in front of me apart and continue toward the command unit. Oh, you. どうした何があった、well, like, it seems that Carrara isn't dead. I wonder what she was talking about with I, though. Zita. Zita is. I can't say anything more. I need to grit my teeth to contain my anger and grief. So, of course. Deal. I need more. Attack it more. Rain of cannon fire strikes the command unit. I follow up along with other radiant frames. The outer carapace is breached, and little by little, the damage is spreading. Inside the crack, I can see a crystal just like the one Kralis was absorbed into. Right. I feel we can pull this off, but my optimism is soon crushed. But, but it's too soon. Zeta bought this time with his life. We can't stop yet. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I fire at the crystal. But it doesn't reach. It stops just short of the crystal. What are you doing? <laughs> As the command unit starts to heal itself, the extra dimensionals once again start attacking all out. Three of the frames have banded together and are meeting the extra dimensionals head on. A swarm of small extra dimensionals is coming toward us. I soon will find myself in a dogfight. The frame unit has taken considerable damage already. On top of that, most pilots have no energy left in their laser guns. And of course, since it's been a long battle already, they're tired. One by one, the frames break apart. Before they stop moving, they ram themselves into the extra dimensionals, aiming for the Zellarm. Some pilots manage to eject in time, but not all of them.
hear a desperate cry, desperate cry over the comm line, and then the stream of tears is running down Fowl's cheeks. Paul throws his laser gun at an extra dimensional, then cuts the energy cell apart as he flies past. The remaining energy caused an explosion, damaging several nearby extra dimensionals. The blade finishes finishes them off on the return strike. Fowl wipes her tears, and their place appears a determined look. The tears almost start flowing again, but she bites them back. ジーダ隊長の機体に同乗していた軽素生物が回収されました。彼は無事ですか。いえ、それが生命反応が感じられないそうです。先ほどの謎の抗出力が原因だと思われます。Paul understands now. The life form Zeta called his partner burned out its own life in order to, for him to fight. Fowl sharply looks up at the screen, which displays the command unit. Shirei since communications equipment on the Zellum is broken, they can't get more information until it's closer. But soon, the ma majesty of the ship becomes apparent. It's several times as long as the Zellum, it also supports countless weapons, giving the look of a flying fortress. Yep, it was Easel. Her father doesn't say much, but Fowl gets a bad feeling from the look in his eyes. She doesn't give voice to her worries, instead she salutes. Easel returns his daughter's salute in kind. With that, the short conference ends. Fowl doesn't answer. She knows that if she opens her mouth now, she'll break down in tears. The Galactic Federation Armada flagship. Blowing its grand description, the ship only has a very small number of people aboard. Three, to be exact. Although, ship, although the ship is mostly running on full automatic, it's still a hard job to manage it with that few people. <laughs> Isa knows the reason why. Among the reigning frames guarding the Zellarm, the one belonging to the man he thought of as his own son, and who might truly have become so, was missing. Thanks, 
third man on the ship is Callier's secretary. He came along without being asked, and now he's standing, just standing around without doing anything. He's on Gallior and simply disregard him. D でより現状の報告が来た。何と言っている。一度大きなダメージを与えたものの、現在は再生の途上にあると。完全に再生させるわけにはいかんな。そのようだ。総帥。秘書官殿。この船は。まだ脱出艇が取り付けられる前だったことは知っているな。<笑>当館は減速しない。このまま司令隊と決戦を行う。そうなるだろうなそそんなバカな Secretary knows that Galliorn fled the battlefield last time that's exactly why he came along but he miscalculated Galliorn only retreats when it is possible for him to do so The Secretary looks from Galliorn to Easel and back in disbelief I am still impatiently attacking the crystal His reckless actions translate into damage to his own frame. It's not working at this rate. Oh, it's okay, Ayumu! We are not going to be able to do it. But there's got to be something I can do. Something. Kiri Huda, Haru. Daga, Mada Kiri Huda, Jota, Dewa, Nai. Ugh, Zita gave me this chance. Why can't I take it? Then suddenly there's a communication on an open line. Just ramming into it. Galeon, that? So, then, that ship is a Chugun Soki Kan? Hurry up, Ayumu! Get between them. Galeon, Kisama, what are you doing? Car interrupts Galeon, but he apparently anticipated that because he doesn't so much as blink. Shiretai Shuhen de Tatakate Rumono ni Kekoksu. Sumiaka ni Iku Tai to Kyori o Tore. Now I realized it too. There are only a few things that can create an explosion large enough for other ships to be endangered, and one of them is a suicide charge. Galeon, why are you doing this? Are you mad at all? Are you mad at all? Are you mad at all? Something in Easel's voice compels me to obey. Round me, the radium frames are falling back, moving behind the flagship. Kara's biting her lip. She's glaring at Galliorn through the screen. There's nothing I could say to her. Radiant frame の自立を確認した。Galliorn nods at Easel's status report. よし、総監は任せる。私は火器を担当しよう。あなたにできますかな？見くびるな。全対戦でも。最前線まで出たことはあるま私も何か手伝わせてくださいいいのか
。覚悟は決まりました。い,いえ、決めるしかないのでしょう。<笑>よし。ならば貴様も牡蠣の制御を手伝え。ああも大きければ、当たりやすいだろう。Secretary salutes as though he were a soldier. Galliard smirks at that. Ikka. Oh, say they said so that Totrick s h o w Yes, Ut the Ut the Utsmaker. Energy Mo Dayakmo, Osimi Minato Nai. Lucas Vesta. Ah. On my screen, I see the flagship fire its engines at maximum, speeding up. Why would they speed up? Carl watched it with a thunderous expression. The flagship bears down on the regenerating command unit. Fog closes her eyes, thinking of her father. Then. The universe goes white. The blast is so intense that even the command unit begins to crack. Kor unleashes her at real power. A ring of light appears in front of my radiant frame. <clears throat> This is one of your portals. Wait, what? Exclamations? A sword comes flying out of the portal. It looks the same as it did when I used it in person, but this time it's just the right size for my frame. Are you sure you should be here? Especially in the vacuum of space? She means it literally. Unless the person using her is a true wielder, it'll use up both of their lives. I'm grateful. With you here, we might just pull it off. Enough of that already. She's still calling me a hero. It's a little embarrassing. So I went to give her a daddy, but where is I herself? Huh? お前はこの前使ったばかりだろうが、今回は私が使って、あれを倒す。You don't know how to do a radiant frame, though. でも、あれってすごく強そうですよ。倒せるほどの力を引き出したら、一回でキララが死んでしまうかも。What? カバワン、行くぞ !No, it's not fine. I'll do it. 私は。この世界にとってはもはや異物に過ぎないだから私がすべきなんだエリアン見ろカー shows me your arm what I see strikes terror in my heart it half disappears and then reappears in turns as if it's hologram I'm looking at あの事故で別の宇宙へ移動した日から私は一つの世界に居続けられなくなったこれはその証だなだから異物が消えるべきだろカーボンバックダウン、I can feel it。Which means I'll have to settle for second best。I silently put my left hand on the control stick。あゆむ。Let's hurry, Kara. If we take too long, Ezel's sacrifice will come to naught. She seems to have figured it out from my expression. With a wry smile, she takes the right control stick. Yes, very weird. And yeah, we decided to each take half. You're not talking me out of this one. She smiles wearily, but I think she somewhat expected this to happen. My choice is to live with Kara no matter what. Fair Daddy unleashes her power. It feels the same as when I held her directly. My fatigue vanishes to be replaced with strength. Dine! Kore kara shiree tai no gaikaku o kudaku! Sore ga kanou na no ka? 
Yeah, we can do this, no doubt about it. Immediately after, you and your ship should throw everything you have at the crystal underneath. Here goes, Kara. Veridadia. The radiant frames are already starting to break down in places. I send my power into it for one last show of force. The command unit's attacks have weakened a lot, which is to be expected considering the damage it's sustained. I easily dodge them and ready the sword. <laughs> Battlecraft. The blade leaves a glowing trail. The next moment, the light explodes, blowing the command unit's outer shell right open. The burst of energy is so strong that even the crystal underneath begins to crack. The old ships and, and the Zolom release a torrent of cannon fire at the command unit. What's more, Okara is using her portals to concentrate it all on a single point. And one more for me. I swing the sword with all my strength, with Veridadia's power running through me, just swinging it is enough to create a shockwave. There's no scream or anything like that. A giant explosion ro rocks the command units, originating at the target of our joint attack. Everyone involved in the battle raises a cheer at the sight. Then, before our very eyes, the command unit begins to break apart. Is it over? What the now? Karara? Alert star, alert start going off, as if they just remembered how to. Now that the power has faded, the checklist comes up red bit by bit. In the middle of it all, Karara is breathing painfully. Karara, are you okay, Karara? <laughs> Can you heal her? The ends of her hair have already started fading away and aren't coming back. Fair Daddy is panicking as well. もう。After making her promise, Kara opens the portal. Verdadia disappears through the gate, then silence. You said you couldn't stay in one world for long, right? Then go through the portal. Then let's go to the other to another world, quick. Kora smiles fleetingly. There's no will to, to live left in her smile. I think not. Kara gives me a troubled look. That's what my old man wanted me to do. But I have been asked to do something else, by someone else. I don't think my feelings are going to change anymore. 
何を I press a kiss on Karara's lips to stop her from saying anything else. I have no idea how I became this kind of guy to, to do something like that. Like the. Hmm? <laughs> Karara goes rigid with shock. I keep kissing her and stroke her head. Eventually, she relaxes. Closes her eyes, a tear rolls down her face. I want to be close to her, and I want to believe she feels the same way about me. Probably gonna try to make those sounds. <laughs> After kissing her for a long time, her face is part. There's a shy smile around her lips. <laughs> Since now, probably. Cora smiles weakly at my answer. But now I know that it's true. You're a crybaby, you get lonely a lot, and you're spoiled. Cora's face goes red instantly. When I was in her inner world, I met Yumina's mother, she told me. Yumika lives within her heart. She said so herself, so she must accept this as an explanation. I don't want to leave you all alone, be it here or in another world. Wait, no. I should say, I want to be by your side. Don't disappear now. Live, for my sake. I will go with you no matter where you choose to go. That was my intention. No. I'll do the best I can not to make you cry or feel sad, so you can rely on me as much as you want to. I just want to be with you. I tell her exactly what's in my heart, then her tears begin to flow. Uh, uh. Cora leans her head toward me until it rests against my chest. Kara is crying, but she's also smiling at the same time. That's my own responsibility. I'm prepared to deal with that. Never seeing you again would be worse. Cora's face tells me she's accepted my decision. That's an easy one. <clears throat> Once again, her lips meet. At the same time, she uses her power. <clears throat> I leave this world fulfilled with affection for Karara. It's 15 minutes after the destruction of the command body. The Zalarm has recovered Ayumu's radiant frame. Twisted hatches pried open. The Zalem's crew can't believe what they find inside. <gasps> From there on, after, Kurokawa and Karara. Kurokawa, Karara, and Akshi Mayumu are listed as missing in action.
Oh. Now I have no choice but to get the true ending. Ah. <laughs> uh. What how long these credits are? Oop. Okay, one, I just pressed control to see if I could fast forward through. It just skipped it. Two, yay! More stuff. Sorry if you wanted to watch the credits. Uh if if you really want to, if you really want to, I mean I can make another thing, a video of just the credits, but I don't know if you will. Wait a second. That picture that was just showed, I do not recall it. The CG, Kara was on the floor, she was, I think she was grabbing her arm, and I think Tamori might have been right here? <sighs> Anyways, for Kara and me, ten years have passed since we left our universe of origin. The warning Kara gave me before we left turned out to be justified. Because... We're like, we're like an eternally young couple, aren't we? Okay, what? <laughs> She's obviously not in her outfit, but... Strike back. Like Kara said, we still look exactly the same. My body's now under the same effect as hers. <clears throat> as a result, the people in most worlds think I'm a student. <laughs> and just as frequently, people mistake Kara and me for siblings. By the way, once more than 92% of the people mistook us for siblings, Kara stopped using my family name. Actually, we're a couple and she's older than me. <laughs> the waiter apparently assumed that we're just pretending. He gives us a smile and leaves. Kuro is rather depressed about it. I think it's got to do with our posture. Kuro genuinely, genuinely has no idea what I'm talking about, despite sitting in my lap. Not too many couples out there sit together like this, I imagine, but for Kuro it happens to be standard procedure. You've changed, Kuro. No, I like what I see. You've grown cuter since I fell in love with you. No. It's true, Kurara has gotten cuter. Her reactions have gone to be more in sync with her appearance. Though considering her actual age, that might actually be a bit weird. For one thing, you've stopped making up excuses for eating kitty lunches. What? And even though we bought two beds, you always end up getting into the same one as me. Ah, uh, damn, you're cute! <laughs> I grew a little tighter. I'm sure we both look like it better like this. I get the feeling we're behaving a bit like a love struck couple. Let's hope we're still in the green area. Hmm? The world we're in right now is based on magic. Ooh! <clears throat> We've been here for a while already. It's coming up on three years. The amazing thing about this magic is the concept of distance. Distances aren't measured scientifically like elsewhere. It's more a matter of affinity. Are you sure we can talk to Yumina just by connecting with something we brought from our own world? Kara starts operating our laptop. Magic, but we got a laptop? I wonder how this is going to work out. After a while, the screen indicates a call is being made. It rings once, twice. <laughs> Suddenly, a face I recognize from somewhere appears. She realizes who we are right away. Her eyes go wide. She's taking this symbol. Who cares about that? 
相変わらず妙なテンションで生きているんだな。Been ten years, assume no contact, and she's going about this very、uh, casually. <笑>冗談冗談。でも二人こそ相変わらずバシバシ突っ込み入れてくるわよね。We could talk to her without any lag at all. No matter where she goes, Yuma will always be our friend. それにしてもなんかすっごくラブラブな感じじゃない<笑>そそうかそうでもないと思っているんだが says the girl sitting in my lap either way you must seem satisfied with Kara's shy reaction だが歩むと一緒にいられて私は幸せだ<笑>もう離れられないかもしれないな Yuma to pause for a moment. She must have been it as a friendly jibe only. Unfortunately, k a r a isn't the girl she used to be. えっと。あれ、すごく呪けてる。ところで、そういう弓名はどうなんだ人生プラン的にいい男を捕まえておかなければいけないんじゃないかいや、ワンハウダーワークアウト。まさかの逆襲。えっとね。人生プランは割と順調だったりしたのよまず生徒会長としての私なんかキララとアイムがいなくてすっごく苦労してた気がするわあ、uh, Were there enough people who helped us in the student council war to man the student council I wonder? トモリとかナオトとかが協力してくれて割と学園新聞の見出しを四字熟語で騒がせるタイプの名生徒会長だったわ。Like what? 確か、心象膨大とか、四面楚歌とかはあ。Huh. お前は一体、何をしていた<笑>まあまあ、その後は、内心点を武器にして、一流企業に就職。Office lady. You mean on you, you are not. Oh, don't I know? Not a monazi bush, she called him Cabotin. Now there's a name I didn't expect to hear. Naita. It's a little kid, Naita and Takarane. Who get a talking to Morimos a sort of tanaka to score a sort of water, what I read it. I exchanged a brief glance with Kara. Yeah, I bet she meant that being with Yuma and Naito was tiresome. What's everyone else doing? Naito is a normal salary man. But it's a bit of a big deal. I'm going to go to the next one. That guy was good at the same time. 確かに使える男という印象だ確かにそうかも You wanna nods I think Naoto was always a little strange though あとはえっと行く隊とかはほとんど出てこなくなったしあそうだアイトはちょくちょく会うわよあいつはまだ地球にいるのかうん全然違う場所だけど四季折々の新作スイーツの季節には絶対合ってるってだけ相変わらずなのはよく分かったあとはファーちゃんね宇宙が落ち着いてからは船を降りて今は私が育った個人を手伝ってるほらあそこって昔のゼーレルムのクルーの人がいるじゃないだからその縁で。ハーちゃんって優しいし、お父さんたちのアイドルになってるみたい。あ、uh,、wait a second、what about her ears? I see. Listening to how everyone is faring is fun, nostalgic, and a little sad too. There are so many people I'd like to see again. ところで、そっちはどうなの？見た目変わってないし、あの決戦がつい昨日のことみたいな感じ？いや。体感時間は地球で言うなら10年になるな10年でも見た目は全然
It's been like that for Kara since the battle before ours, but it seems I don't age anymore now either. I guess it's been like, I don't know, three or four for her. Even a nod to herself. It's strange how she apparently thinks it makes sense. We can't stay in any one world for too long. It's been three years since we came to this one, so we should probably move on sometime soon. Kara seems partial to the idea of a reunion. Of course, I'd quite like to have one too. Well, it'll just work out. Talk to Yumina has made me feel that the thing with our bodies isn't such a big deal after all. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's do that. Need to grind a little bit more. The liveliness puts a smile on my face. I'm a little sad that I can't bicker with her in person. あ、ところで結局聞き忘れたが、ユミナの彼氏は、うん。それ以上いたら仲よ。こうなったら、キララたちが来る前に絶対に素敵な彼氏をゲットするわ。Get the feeling that's not going to happen for various reasons. 楽しみにさせてもらおうか。We enjoy our afternoon watching Yumina's reactions. Our lives will cross once again. I'm happy that the pros I'm happy at the prospect that my days will get lively again. We've acquired Obsidian Key. We've unlocked difficulty level hard. Load your clear data to use a new difficulty level. Would you like to save a game? Clear data, you can use the save to continue on order. Yes. I never use the slot. Well then, because she was second. No idea what she just said there. What's this? Uh, oh, variations. Oh, such so pretty. This was after the big battle. Jota Chain, Junin, no microbus, two men could the untend the kill. Maruka Baska. It was not a carrot, two men could a murder. But what it's gay, you mean? Oh, how I wish I could understand Japanese as well as I would like. <sighs> oh, and this is when. Hanta? Karata Chimosio, eh? Megane no Miriakumo Akaranaide, Nunkini main hero in Hattete. こっちにだってファンはいるし、サブヒロインルートを欲しがってるプレイヤーだってたくさんいるのに、この女さえいなければ、ということの声が聞こえてくる。思ってないわよね。前のは素直ないい子よね。ああ、よ。あ、wait oh, a second. These were you and stuff. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I'm assuming that's. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'm assuming that's the one that was from before and stuff. And then eyes thing. And then just Jinbu Academy. The article. Space. Huh. Missed a lot of them. 
Oui, 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 oui. <laughs> really, vocals is the middle of human. Uh. <laughs> well. That was you would have the real Karara's route on uh, normal difficulty. Who? Who? I don't. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't even know. How to say a res response that, but uh, anyway, I'm probably gonna split this uh, since the last time I did the introduction and to now up into two different things, probably, but uh. I hope you enjoyed this entire thing. Uh, I am going to eat some dinner, watch some anime. That's weird. Uh, and then likely maybe play some more, even though I should be doing my homework. But uh, next time, Zumanas, uh, I'll explain. I'm doing the thing, uh, it's gonna be basically Yumana Season 2, or something like that. Oh my. I can't even describe my feelings right now. But yeah, um, I'll see you then. Thanks for sticking with this. Bye.